Hi, my name is Dr. Thomas O'Connor. I'd like to present to you today on this video something I'm seeing coming into the clinic more and more over the past year or so. It's a combination of two very powerful steroids that have been around for a very long time. It's Trend plus Winstrol. And this is something that we saw back in the 1990s, actually. These drugs have been around a long time, and that was a classic combination in the 1990s. Um, and I really don't want to go into the details in regard to what the chemical properties are regarding Trend and or Winstrol itself, because the experts certainly know that these are very powerful steroids. Winstrol itself uh, used for a strong strength drug and a cutting drug, and Trend itself is just a super steroid, everyone knows, and because it doesn't aromatize, it's used for that property itself as a very hardening drug. It causes that grainy look. Definitely causes massive muscle size and strength. So I'm seeing some issues with this combination. There's really three things I'm seeing. I'm seeing accelerated heart disease as I've never seen before. Those are the heart disease or the accelerations or the early progressive heart disease that I'm, it's peculiar that I'm, I really scratch my head over when I look at all the other steroid users coming in over years and with their histories. I have to say that that combination has got to be the worst. It's a combination of Trend plus Winstrol. So that's on the heart, there's no question. But men certainly love that combination, if not some of those drugs certainly by itself with testosterone and other drugs. So I see that, I see the heart, I, I just see that progressive. I see men coming in with myocardial infarctions and stent placed and early types of disease infecting the heart and not to mention the HDL lipid panels as I always talk about are just so poorly um, visualized and just just so poor to what I see but in addition to this I see it stronger I see it worse with this combination as you would imagine it's synergistic you know two plus two is five and that's what we're seeing so in addition to that I see severe withdrawal symptoms on men you know with with or without PCT that it's really hard for them to come back from this combination itself maybe that's why in the 1990s they stopped using it I really just don't know the other thing I see is the kidney issues and I'm seeing just more and more of this across the board acute and superimposed on chronic renal dysfunction it's really a problem please and I just see that when I have to look scientifically across the board I'm seeing more and more of this certainly acutely regarding the combinations of, of Trent and Winstrol. Um, I also see musculoskeletal uh, acute tears, uh, bicep tears, distal bicep tears, pec tears, even, even back muscle, uh, lower lumbar tears. I've seen a number of these uh, quad tears, Achilles tears, and I'm seeing a lot of those. We all know Winstrol is a drying agent and uh, men that train on it for long periods of time and get dramatically strong they're at risk for tendon ruptures but when you put it on trend it seems like it can even make it worse for some men just something i'm noticing so that's it those are three very important pieces i'm seeing the cardiac the kidney superimposed and accelerated disease i'm seeing the musculoskeletal disease accelerated on this and uh, i'm seeing of course the withdrawal symptoms that I feel are much worse than traditional anabolic steroid cycles on some more of the softer, if you will, combinations of testosterone and other drugs. Not that I'm giving that a blessing, but I'm saying that uh, reporting what I'm seeing coming into my office. So please reach out to me and my staff. Please consider a consultation. I think because of my work, physicians are become much more progressive on this across the United States. I'm hearing it all the time. So reach out to your doctor, or your healthcare provider, may APRN, maybe a PA, and, uh, and talk to them and tell them you want to tell them what's going on. You don't want to just uh, jump off steroids uh, abruptly so because of withdrawal symptoms. And you just want to check your labs. You want to see your CBC, your comprehensive metabolic, your kidney function, and your analysis. Maybe you want to get an EKG, a coronary artery calcium score. You know, doctors are really have become, I believe, again, much more progressive and accepting of anabolic steroid users, and that's a good thing. So please stay in touch, and I hope this is helpful. Thank you. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button, and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy.